And I'm Mitch Crispy, and this is Wolfpack News for Friday, April 1st, 2016. Students enrolled in a dual credit math or English class next year, the Compass exam will be offered next Monday through Friday in the LRC Computer Lab during guided studies and lunches. Students will receive a pass to test and need to present the pass at the time of testing. Students must take the Compass exam in order to be placed into the dual credit class. Students will need to go to a Wabonsi Community College Assessment Center if they do not take the test here. See Mrs. Fadig and Student Services with any questions or email bfadig at sd308.org. All artists, enter your art into this year's Congressional Art Competition and Artistic Discovery. The contest is for students across the country to showcase their 2D artistic abilities. The student who is awarded the first prize will receive two round-trip airline tickets to Washington, D.C., and the opportunity to attend the awards ceremony at which the first prize winners from throughout the country will be unveiled. The winning entry will be displayed in the U.S. Capitol for a year. Visit www.foster.house.gov slash art for guidelines and entry forms. The deadline is April 15th. Former fashion construction students, the Oswego Land Park District is holding a Project Greenway fashion show on April 22nd. All fashion pieces must be made out of recycled materials. Any OE student interested in designing either a look or an accessory for the show should see Ms. Sharber in room C-213. All entry forms and payments must be submitted by April 15th. So see Ms. Sherbert ASAP. All freshmen, Mr. Savage is holding a meeting on the fourth floor during your lunch today. Make sure you're there on time. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Brittany. East Theater production of Peter Pan is looking for flight operators to assist in the flying of several actors. If you're able to lift 50 pounds and are available through April 11th through the 23rd and would like to get involved with the musical, please plan on coming to an interest meeting Thursday, March 31st at 2 in J215 and at 235. And that's all for entertainment. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Seniors, registration with payment for senior celebration is due by next Friday. Make sure you sign up for this great evening of fun, food, and prizes. Forms available in student services or at the senior celebration table during your lunch on Wednesdays. April is Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Month. Students are collecting clean, used t-shirts in order to make dog toys for local, non-kill animal shelters. The t-shirt drive will last until April 22nd. Donations can be dropped off in the t-shirt collection boxes outside the department offices. Please contact Ms. Nelson or Ms. Kremski if you have any questions. Prom and Great America tickets are now on sale through the April 30th. Please visit Ms. Subi's website and click on the Prom 2016 link for all the information. Also plan on attending informational meeting after school in the Commons next Tuesday at 2.40 regarding Six Flags Grand Night. Plank Junior High is holding the Iron Pirate Challenge, a night of obstacle courses and other fun events. They're currently looking for volunteers to help at the event. This event will offer community service hours Friday, April 29th and Saturday, April 30th. Go to Student Services for more information. And now it's time for sports. Here's Matt. Sophomore baseball won 9-5 last night against Yorkville. Trey Hunt collected four hits along with four stolen bases. Danny Rodriguez struck out six, walked, walked four, and gave up nine hits while going the distance for the Wolves. The team scored three runs on a two-run double by Trent Taylor and sacrifice fly by Colin Wazinski. Rodriguez induced an inning-ending ground out. Trent Hunt's double got things going, playing Jeremy Price. Great job, guys. All those interested in trying out for next year's cheerleading program should come to the required information meeting Wednesday at 5.30 in the LRC. One parent is required to come with each athlete. Any questions, please contact our seat coach solely. Now that's all for sports. Now back to the anchor desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Alexa Shackle. And I'm Mitch Crispy. Join us again <laughs> <laughs> on Monday on East TV. Don't forget to stop by our Twitter at Oswego TV for daily updates. 
Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great April Fool's Day.